All right, so we're packing up, but... Honey? Yeah? Where's my super suit? What? Where is my super suit? up everybody what we're doing right now is um, driving out to California to go meet my best buddy Colt Neck um, we're gonna I'm gonna meet him there uh, at his house then we are going to load everything up into his X brand Sprinter and then uh, yeah we're gonna head up to Idaho to go do some racing we're going to uh, the works race up there honestly I don't know what uh, what round it is we'll probably figure that out later in this video and um, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. All right, we're, we're high spirits, good times. Woo! All right, so I have a question. I just stopped off at McDonald's because, you know, still depressed from deleting the first ever vlog that I obviously gonna do. But I, and I got a crispy chicken sandwich. So this, this, is my, this is my beef right here. Okay, so has this ever happened to you? Where when something new at a restaurant comes out, this is my second one by the way, I already ate the first one, that's what, what prompted me to do this. Uh, when something new comes out at a fast food restaurant and you, you try it, and nine times out of 10, it's really good. It's really good. And then for the next month or two, you keep going back because you're just like, oh man, you know, this is really good, I like, I like eating it. So you go and you eat, eat it, eat, eat it, eat it. It's really good, really good, really good. But then right around the, you know, three to four month mark, you, you finally find yourself and you go back in there you, and you take a bite and you're just like, huh, it, is, it isn't that good anymore. Like does quality control go down or do you just get used to the taste and it's just not as good anymore? What is it? Because I don't know. I'm still gonna eat the dang things, but I, I don't know question to think on all right so we're here we made it simi valley california got my dirt scooter right there got the ekx brand right here colton making fun of me for vlogging but you know this is getting giving you recognition too to the whole whopping like three followers i have on youtube i tried the vlog scene yeah check out project 526 so what are we doing here bro uh, we're uh <clears throat> trying to beat the heat Beaten heat with uh, some tin foil. If if you guys wanted to see what a professional dirt bike rider's garage actually looks like, <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's supposed to look like. So if you ever see my garage, you're gonna see one bicycle uh, and uh, one dirt bike. Uh, that's because I'm not pro, so. Dude, your 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 garage is a, is a thing of beauty. It is meticulously maintained. Mm-hmm. Meticulously maintained, just as maintained actually as the actual bike he's going to be racing this weekend. It looks it looks phenomenal. I think it's ready to go as it is, dude. Yeah, yeah, she's ready to go. I think anyway. So we'll see how this thing uh, pans out. All right, it's uh, Wednesday morning now, popping open my coffee because I don't drink coffee. Uh, we got Colton's bike put a little bit more together than yesterday. Not, still not all that good, but you know, whatever. Here she is. Got the, uh, you know, we got the um, radiators on, but it's still not finished, but I would uh, like to take this time. Let's get that in there. There it is, the van that we're gonna be riding in on the trip. 
EKS brand. Best goggles out there. If you don't wear X brand, you won't win. Trademarked by Pulp MX Show. Check them out. They're hilarious. Yeah, so it'll take us, a, it's gonna take about 12 hours, but we're, we probably won't do the whole drive today, but. Wow. Let's go. All right, so we're finally almost done with this thing. We got Colton's bike pretty much put back together. That's pretty much the rest of the junk that we need. Here's the inside. We're gonna go in here. I can't really see, so I gotta look at the thing, but we got all three bikes in here. And then now the other thing, we gotta put that inside. Okay, so we are finally about to pull out. It is a uh, giddy. Uh, 134. Hello. Ran a little late. And, okay, and, no. and see this right here, that right there, most places would, would have, oh, and it, it's an adjustable one. Okay, so he's got one, he's driving. Makes sense, you know, who, gotta give it to him. But what about the passenger? A passenger should always feel comfortable in a van or any type of anything. And I think I'm right about that. But does anyone have one? Not me, nope, not me. Heinous acts, commit heinous acts, 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 A, C, T, yes, acts, that. the complete other end of the entire freaking galaxy universe he didn't say hey, let me try some some clay figures here and then he boom he created some gray aliens or whatever and they're on their own little planet and he's like ah these guys are kind of freaking ugly they're bug-eyed they look weird they got like weird appendages this didn't work right then he fl floats his way through the intergalactum sanctum he literally goes and is like okay I'm gonna create a planet right here. Boom, big bang. He does it himself, he just has to clap. That's all he's gotta do. Boom, clap, big bang, shazam, earth, flat or round, however you wanna look at it. Who gives it? I don't know what, we're off topic. Anyway, okay. so it's a circular. <laughs> he makes us. Yeah. We're, and he's just like, holy crap, I did it. I did it. I created my masterpiece. Okay? Okay. So, this could have taken millions, if not billions of years. Who knows? I don't know how fast God can run through the universe. I don't know. Maybe he has teleportation. Oh. No! So, who knows how fast God can run or snap or if he can instantly go across the universe, whatever. So, those first creations that he made that didn't work out, Okay, maybe they, they created technology or eventually, you know, evolved into a space faring race, even, you know, and, and what if they finally decide to travel? God damn it. So, if they wanted to travel across the universe just for shit to get, who knows? But they're curious. Who wouldn't be curious? Or, or like, like uh, the big question, like, why am I here? How did, how did I get here? It's like Desmond the Moon Bear. Desmond the Moon Bear. How did I get here? So they come out and then they, they flopping around through the universe doing whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then they're just like, well, hey, these guys look a little bit different than we do. Let's go down and take a look. Let's go see what's going on. And then obviously, you know, God doesn't, he doesn't come around. He doesn't come around that much. He maybe lights a bush on fire every now and again, but I mean, he doesn't come around that often. But who's not to say that the aliens are just not one of his other creatures? I mean, he 
freaking invented the platypus? Ooh, are you telling me that he didn't go somewhere else to create freaking like an alien looking thing? So you, you get what I'm saying? I, I understand where okay, you're coming from. Okay, all right. That's it. That's so, so here's the thing. Okay. There's a certain amount of faith involved in, oh, yeah. in anything that you believe in. Yep. Yes. But, okay, so one of the oldest books that we have pretty much is the oldest thing we have as far as I know. Okay. The Holy Bible. Right. It doesn't say that God didn't create anything else, but it does tell him, tell us that he created the earth. And you're asking about how fast God works. Uh-huh. Well, he created the earth and people and everything on it in seven days. Okay. Okay. Bible. So, just to add on to that, so he it took him seven days, yep. so a full week, yep. to create everything that we know. Yep. You know, the earth, people, and well, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it took him a week yep. to go across the universe, what do you think, maybe a few months then? A year? Maybe two? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that... It, it took him a while to get... So, if, if he's doing what I'm saying, it's took so, him a hot minute. So we're, we're talking about how, like, God, Satan, devil, whatever, aliens, whatever, whatever word you want to use on it. So you're so you're assuming that he's in some other place that we can't understand, right? But yeah. You're, but you're putting three-dimensional, our world, constraints on it. But then, you know, there is that, that uh, I forget the name, but it's a paradox that what if he creates something that's stronger than himself? What if he tried to make a, like what we consider aliens first? What if he tried to do it somewhere else? It didn't work out. So yeah, he snapped, snapping his way through the universe on his own plane. Cause uh, it maybe, it, 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 you know, he's going around throughout our universe, not his, because his is, he sees everything at all times, yeah, yeah. you know, so, so he's snapping his way through our universe, like, trying new methods, he's like, boom, I'm gonna try this one, ah, it didn't really work, but I'm gonna try, nah, it didn't really work, and he gets here, because if we're going off of what you're saying, he, he created the earth, he created us, he created everything, but I'm, what my point is, is what if he created something else before us because obviously he did the flood you know he did that great flood to wipe the slate clean yeah because yeah, yeah. he, he it didn't work the first time yeah okay so who says that was the first time god created the heavens and the earth in the beginning so god okay. established time the, at the beginning yes right okay so yeah, he established time. He establishes time. That's when that's when existence starts in the beginning, right then. Okay. And there's no mention of anything else other than Earth and humanity. Humans in general are our jealous species. Okay. Right? Would you could you agree with that? Like overall, like we want things that we don't have, and when we get them, we want something else. Yeah, yeah. For, for the sure. most part, it's very hard to find someone who's truly happy with where they're at. There are people out there. There's people out there. People like that type of stuff, but they're not always in on that, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, what's to say that maybe he left that part out? Because are we, are we saying that the Bible was literally told or made from what he said? Uh, well, if you believe the Bible and you believe what it says, you believe that it's that it's uh, inspired by God, right? So it's the scriptures are inspired by God, written through humans, right? Right. That God worked through people to write down the story of how it all happened, right? It's possible. So whether that's God actually like. Like a person goes into a trance and writes it all down. Yeah. Or whether that's God put specific things in this person's life to create them into this exact person that to write it down exactly the way it all it all needed to be written. 
and just like I said, there's a certain amount of faith, obviously, involved yeah. in, in this whole and in buying into this whole thing. And but, that's that's the part is it's it's the but faith part. Just like the same way that there's faith in buying into the Bible, there's faith in believing that the world is round and that we're living in this giant universe and we evolved from an amoeba and all this stuff. And you're you're taking scientists word as gospel yeah unless you're a scientist and you look at it all yourself it's true you know and we're all most of us are all too busy living our lives to do that so yeah I choose to believe the stories of the Bible because it helps give context and purpose to my life makes sense it's, man it's pretty hard for me to think that just like we're talking this amazing freaking machine that is the human body and the the universe around us that we produce carbon dioxide when we breathe and we drive and we do whatever we do it'd be pretty tough to eat grass like yeah as your only source of food a cow eats grass and turns grass into usable food for us like okay. everything's yeah. working together so perfectly that you couldn't like human design could never pull it off yeah everything's designed specifically yeah everything to do it's it's thing everything works in perfect harmony yeah it is and like what you said it's it's faith bound like if you believe in that type of stuff and you want to put your trust into that that's what you choose me i don't trust science i don't trust freaking the bible i don't trust nothing i wasn't there i wasn't yeah. there when the freaking bible was written yeah. it could i mean you know it, uh i don't have faith in any of it because i just i just for me i just don't care personally but I mean, who's to say that it, it, the, that whole thing's not the biggest scam in the entire world? The guy would be a freaking genius. But who's saying that it's not? I mean, if people are saying aliens exist it, in in one way or another, even if they're interdimensional or on another plane or whatever, you know, which you know, it, it's it's totally possible that, and and it's it's likely. That there is a, a uh, other worldly dimensional being, such as God, a, a, a higher power. Yeah, I think that's that's, so, that's pretty hard to deny. It's pretty. I would, as we said, looking around. How, even you how, know, you go. You, how yeah. perfectly designed the world is, humanity and everything. Yeah, it's it's hard to deny that there's an intelligent design behind this. Yeah, my my final thoughts on that this whole thing would be that when the aliens come down from space in their spaceships I'm totally calling you and I'm gonna say I fucking told you I told you and, suck it and I won't I won't deny it I just don't think they're coming from space do you think more or less they're gonna just pop out of kind of just like a portal area I think hollow earth baby hollow earth I, I think that like I said I think there is aliens quote unquote that they're going to be uh, they're going to be Satan's homies in disguise trying to trick you make you think they're aliens make you think there's other life out there make you think we're not special we're not created beings but yeah I definitely think there will be aliens at some point in the near future other otherworldly different designed humanoid creatures yeah whatever label you want to put on it they're not humans they're not humans uh yeah they never will be and yeah they might try yeah. we all know about the body snatchers don't get me started on them body snatchers <laughs> uh, uh yeah well fun topic of conversation yeah we went down a rabbit hole we went down the rabbit hole hey they named a river after you what, 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 what is it? The Virgin River! Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we just stopped off. We're in uh, St. George, Utah right now. Uh, just stopped off at a Denny's. So, yeah, it was an icebox in there. It was insane. And it's quite difficult to deal with anything right there. You ever watch the wild thornberries? Yeah, I watched the wild thornberries. <laughs> Last update for the day, because we're going to sleep unless this guy starts doing some of his uh, karaoke singing. We're at a rest stop, 
or just outside of Beaver, Utah, right? Yeah, Beaver, Utah. And uh, yeah, I heart Beaver. Oh, there's a guy right here, but good morning, Utah. <laughs> I don't want to yell at him. It's actually not that bad. I don't know. Maybe the wind's dying down or something. Who knows? But it's gonna make we can give it a shot. Oh, yeah, boy. Got my stink on the foot pump. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. it's actually kind of used it. <laughs> At least it, it works. It works. Oh. Yeah. We got our sick drinking water right here for the coffee. You're not drinking coffee, right? I'm not drinking coffee, no. Yeah, that is probably true. That's how the pioneers used to blow up coffee back in the day. Oh, yeah? Look at that. We're getting a history lesson. This is ancient technology. This is called all you young bucks out there who drink coffee from Keurig machines. This is called a percolator. Per perca what now? Percolator. Percolator? And it requires... You got that, buddy? A man who's strong enough to open the coffee bag, which is not me. Apparently not. Uh, it requires... But he's got himself a knife. Oh, wait, I should use the real knife. <laughs> you should really use the real use, real... use... Oh, my God, I can't speak. Use the real knife. What do we got? Oh, we got the shetty. Fire up our percolator. Campfire. Cowboy. Right there. So, uh, shout out for the coffee then. Shout out to my girlfriend Sierra. Yeah. Hawaiian coffee, straight from the island. There it is. I don't know which island she was at, but she was at an island. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's half the battle right there, dude. At least you know she was on an island at one point. Privateer, wow. whoa. Got you. Privateer Island. Something like that. <laughs> Disability Island. Disability Island. Oh, yeah. Man's gonna smell like coffee. I could think of worse things to smell like. Bacon. Oh. Oh, look at this guy. I gotta weigh myself, dog. Oh, you weigh yourself. Professional, this is what professional athletes do right here. Okay, everybody, so we just finished up cooking and we're just, we're chilling in here. Look at this, this beast of a food man that this guy just cooked right here. What a beast. And on top of it, like we're eating in the van, but here's our view. I mean, it's freaking, yeah, we got this Jeep right here, but who cares? This is freaking bitching. This is rad. Anyway, Colton has given me the pleasure <laughs> of uh, saying grace, and I'm I'm cool with it. You know, I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in any of that stuff. But you know what? I'm going to do it. So, Colton, if you would like to take my hand. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. There it is. Pure friendship right there. And. You know, uh, oh yes. I'm gonna coach you here a little bit. He's gonna coach me. Okay. Take off your hat. That would help. For the most high God. That would help. Don't do not do it too often. Thanks, buddy, for watching out. And I won't be spited. Right. Don't need that. Okay, so Good let's, grace. I guess we bow our heads. So, yep. God, oh glorious God, I would like to just be so thankful for Colton for letting me tag along on this amazing trip, for him cooking this amazing food, and just please, you know, Let's have us have a safe weekend racing and just just kick butt and take names, and uh, you know thanks thanks for just creating this fantastic earth and letting us fucking live the best lives we can. Amen. Amen. Yeah, All buddy. Right. How was that? See, was wasn't solid. that bad? Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't bad. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna clean her up a little bit before we get to the race. Don't want to uh, have a messy van. We got places, we got sponsors and stuff here. Don't know where we are right now. Yo! Dude, what is that? Oh my 
god! And that's it! Woo! Alright, so it's good. So we're out here at, uh, in Preston, Idaho, at the round five of the works race. And they're gonna have us go through that. They built a whole puddle for it. So we're gonna go right through a mud hole, or we can take the cheetah line, or the easy line to go around the outside. But there's like a lot more long. So it's kind of like a chicken line almost, but you know, you might not want to flood the bike. Who knows? Uh, We'll see, I might do that one for a lap or two and see how it goes, but I don't want to break the bike because if the bike breaks and we're out for the whole, whole race, the whole weekend. So, we'll see how that one goes. And, uh, yeah, there's the rest of the track out over there. Oh, this looks, this looks sturdy. Oh, well that's helpful. This is, uh, yeah, this looks super safe. And there it is, that's, it, that's what's holding it up. This looks great. Some mud fest right here, yeah. This is great. We're gonna be racing through all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got video proof now that they are literally purposely trying to flood this thing. Oh, bro, we got Stokes, bro, Stokes! We're trying to find our Airbnb right now. I <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> if he exists. Good God, dude. I gotta go look at this back area right here. Holy crap. Look at this. Uh, we're not even inside. And look at this. It's a tad breezy, but. All right, let's go see inside this place. <laughs> Dude, this place is sweet. <sighs> you got a loft up there with beds? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got beds in here. That up here. I'm not gonna climb that right now because that just seems dangerous, but we'll check it out. Oh, sweet deal. So we got laundry room and bathroom in the ghost basement. I love it. Woo! We're here. Time to go ride some practice. God, look at that. This is one hell of a view to wake up to in the morning. So, today's practice day. Colton, you ready to win practice? I couldn't ask to answer your question better than that.
All right, y'all on camera. Wave to the camera, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. There it is. That's my man right there. Barnacle cross. Barnacle cross, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Look at this thing. It is freaking... Dude. I mean... Hey, if anything, I'd say I, r I race monster trucks, dude. That's what it looks like. That's what happens when a dude out of nowhere hits your front end. You fall into a mud hole. Dude, get out of here, man. Jesus. That's Idaho for you. There's just one section, as you can see from the motorcycle, that it's uh, it was very muddy. It was pretty much like a mud bog, and made it through the first lap clean. Nothing, no, no, nothing went wrong with that one. But then on the uh, the next lap around, uh, I was just trying to pass this other guy, and he got squirrely, and he smashed into me and knocked me over. And then yeah, that just got it all uh, all muddy, and then it was hard to hold on because my uh, gloves were covered in mud. Uh, grips were covered in mud. Um, so that was kind of a pain in the butt. But overall, felt good. Uh, hoping to have a really good, uh, good run this weekend. This is just one of the sections I'm talking about where we have to go through a full mud bog. This thing is muddy as hell. We're just walking to get the get the lines right so we don't have no tip overs tomorrow. Yeah, it must be nice. I, it's because I took all the moisture for you. My speed dry, dried the track out. <laughs> there you go. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, good lord. So we're heading to the track. God damn, dude. I am just shining right now. Woo! Woo! All right, so it's race time. Got the camel pack all loaded up. Getting the Rhino Power pre-workout to give me a little extra boost. And uh, I'm gonna really send it. I'm super nervous. Uh, never ridden this track, never raced this track, rode yesterday, but never, I'm just blabbering, I'm nervous as hell. Let's go. Um, just got done racing, just got off the track. Um, didn't have the best start. I think I was probably fifth or sixth off the start. Um, uh, yeah, I bogged. I don't know what happened. I, I was at a high, a high RPM, but as soon as I let the clutch go, that thing just bogged down. And everyone went, I think I had a good jump. I felt like I had a really good jump, but didn't work out that well. Uh, so it was kind of moto to long, got, got, got past a few times because it was super dusty and I wasn't going to risk falling over or tipping over or nothing because that's, that's how you ruin a race. But um, unfortunately, I was probably running probably eighth or something and I was just about to start settling in and came into this corner and there was probably six, six, six deep, like three foot ruts. I've never gone through a rut that deep in my entire life. And I wasn't ready for it, and you know I kind of came in a little hot, and there was a guy down, so I kind of slammed into him. Um, but then he he kind of got up, and right as I was finally able to go, some dude slammed into me, and then stalled the bike, uh, and then just trying to do a hot a hot start just to kick it. But the rut was so deep that every time I kicked the bike, uh, the kickstarter would get stuck in the dirt. So that one sucked. What's up, buddy? You want me to cut the zip tie off for you? All right, give me one second, buddy. Let me uh, let me go grab some cutters. Ah, uh, give me one second. All right, we're gonna help out a little dude here. All right, let's see here. I know we got them in here somewhere. Ah, here we go. All right. Let's cut this sucker off. All right, buddy. Here we go. Let's uh, just like that. You sure? All right. There we go. Kids, let's say what's up to the camera. What's up, guys? Woo! We're racing, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. Have, have a good rest of your day, guys. Okay. <laughs> I ran today. What's that?
Oh, all right, let's put it on. There it is. Look at this guy. You got it on there. I'm a pro. Yeah? So am I. Factory dudes, I like it. See, that's what we get. We yeah. get factory dudes out here. Hi. I'm digging the pink. It's lit. I like it. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a kind of a bummer of a race, but I rode, rode really good and uh, uh, passed. I made a few passes. I passed two guys on the last lap, so fitness was pretty good. Uh, I got a little arm pump, but it went away about halfway. And um, yeah, so I was super stoked on that. Uh, and yeah, not sure if Colton got any video or anything, but you know, I don't have a GoPro or nothing, so we don't have any footage of it. But it was it was a really fun race once we finally got through that first lap shenanigans. So yeah, we'll see what we got, and we'll update you later. And um, yeah, we'll try to try to get them again tomorrow. So yeah. <laughs> We're in one piece, that's all that matters. Also, I wanted to show uh, the roost marks, dude. Oh, I got pelted coming through the freaking corners and stuff. I mean, it is just, that was brutal. Man, I feel like I just got shot up with paintballs like the whole time. It was insane. <laughs> We got the crowd right there, yeah. Looking good, boys. You. Hey, What's up? You know how I know you're gay? How's that? Do you have a vlog? Ooh, thanks, buddy. What? <laughs> Look at this guy. He's, he's so proud of himself, too. He's just smiling there. He's just so proud of himself. Whatever, man. I do it for my fans. The whole whopping, like, three or four of them. All right, so it's Sunday now, and it's uh, yeah, last day. Um, everyone except for Jeff is still sleeping because he's a badass. But uh, yeah, I got the beautiful sunrise coming up right there. Just finishing loading up all the stuff in the van. Drop my chapstick. Uh, and yeah, we're so we're heading to the track right now. How to go race? So. Looking for a better result than yesterday. Yesterday I ended up ninth, but considering I was probably around dead last when I finally actually got going, it's not bad. I passed, passed a pretty decent amount of people, so we'll uh, try to have a better result today. Come on, buddy. It was a really good running for Colton. He got third in the 250 Pro class. It was really hot today in the 90s. You know, I was doing on the radio, so I was spotting and stuff, and there he goes. Freaking champ right there. Oh, 82 is the Oh, that's a pro. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Dude, you, you vlog regardless of if you throw your back out or not. Dude. You gotta vlog. Vlog life, go life. Oh God. Vlog life all day. The bike was super muddy and I just threw my back out trying to put her on the sand because it's got a bunch of barnacles on it. Quick race recap. Um, so I got a second place start. Did, did the first gear start this time. Worked 10 times better. Um, second place start, passed her first, uh, halfway through the, set, the first lap, uh, led for about a lap and a half, the 
track was pretty, it was pretty sick actually, but um, it got pretty, pretty, um, it was pretty slick. So it was like skating on ice, which is pretty hard. Um, so yeah, I um, led for, for maybe even two laps. I might have led for two laps and then um, yeah, I got, got past and then just kind of settled in. Um, I was getting, a, got some pretty good blisters coming in right there. So it was kind of just playing it safe, didn't want to fall down. Um, no one passed, no one else passed me, which was sick. And so pulled in to the, uh, finish the race. I thought I got second, um, but when I went to go check the results, they said I got third. So I asked everybody and I said, well, that's not possible because I was leading and only one person got by me. So I didn't want to be like that guy, but I kind of, you know, asked the officials and said, what, what's the deal going on with this? And um, yeah, they said the guy was in front of me the entire time. So the only way that's possible is that he started in the line in front of me because we started in, in uh, rows. So he started in the row in front of me, which gives him about 30 to 45 seconds of a head start. And with that and how the track was, it's not possible to catch back up to him at that point. Um, I told the officials that and there's nothing they were going to do about it. So that kind of sucks because uh, I lost two points in the championship for that. Um, so... Overall, I got I got third, which I'm stoked on. It's my first podium. Yay. First first podium of the year, so I, I'm pretty happy about that. But overall, still kind of bummed because I, I finished second, but I got third. So, you know, whatever. Could be worse. We're in one piece, and we're, we're able to race uh, the next one. So we'll try to just keep on riding, keep on training, and we'll go for the next one. This guy, however, freaking kicked ass. Third place at 250 Pro. Yay. Yeah, you, dude, you're ugly as hell right now. You got dirt everywhere and you got white teeth though. It's really funny. <laughs> Look at how white your fucking teeth are, dude. <laughs> uh, and now we're heading home from Idaho. Let's go. All right, on a scale of one to hungry, how hungry is Aaron? hungry enough to try a freaking gas station hot dog i'll tell you that look at all the wiener slime on the machine oh, dude slime. these slimy wieners just rolling around in here for the last like four days and he picked one out and you know what mustard will kill any bacteria so there and dr pepper's health food all right here we go we'll see if we freaking um survive this or not we're going for the dog. Here we go. Mm. So far, so good. Mm. Oh god, I gotta go bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. <laughs> hey, we're good. Hey, we're good. Hey, vlog. Aaron had to heat up his hot dog because rolling around on the <laughs> hot dog machine for four days it didn't get hot enough. Hey, it was lukewarm. Lukewarm. Yeah, looking at that Vegas through a dirty windscreen. Let's go! Windscreen? What are you? European or something? Yes, like Sulean from Russia. And we call them windscreens because they screen you from the wind. Does this not make sense to you, stupid American boy? No. I didn't think so. No. I did not think so. You do not understand what we are actually talking about. Oh, this is not the matter. I see you trying not to laugh. What is so funny? Do you think something is funny? I did not fucking think so. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. Windscreen! Ah! All right, so it is uh, Monday, day um, after the race. Um, we ended up driving all the way back straight through, um, and we got to Colton's house in uh, California um, probably around 5, 5 a.m., and it is now, um, I think it's like around 11.30 a.m. So slept a little bit. Then, uh, you know, got the bike all loaded up in the back of the truck. She is muddy as hell. But, um, yeah, great, great overall weekend. Was kind of bummed about the, the situation yesterday. Um, Should have gotten second. 
got third. Yeah, we're just filling up, and um, that's it. We're heading home. So thanks to everybody, you know, who helps me out. Um, thanks to Colton, his entire family, and uh, just everybody, you know. And you guys are awesome, everyone who supports me in uh, racing and, um, you know, the vlog stuff. Hope you all enjoyed, and we will uh, see you on the next one. What is up, Wolf Nation? Editing Aaron here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this video. This is the end. That's it. Um, obviously, when this video was made, it was back in 2021. Uh, currently, it is 2024. So that was a while ago. And I didn't have my slogan. So remember, you are who you choose to be. So long, Wolf Nation.